The 2003 film Under the Tuscan Sun is a rom-com drama loosely based on a novel of the same name. It stars Diane Lane in peak form as Frances, a writer who moves to Tuscany after her divorce leaves her with a broken heart and writer's block. Well, I mean, who wouldn't want to buy a villa in Tuscany? But uh, that would be a terrible idea. Terrible idea. Mm -hmm. And she does love this. It's the kind of mid-range, mid-2000s romp about privileged white people in crisis that at its best leaves you with the warm fuzzies, and at its worst is eat, pray, love. It's not perfect, there are some pretty broad stereotypes, and no one seems to really worry about money or the logistics of moving countries or personal safety, but damn it, I love that silly little film. One of its most endearing characters is Catherine a vibrant, eccentric British actress played by Lindsay Duncan who claims that she was discovered by none other than il maestro Federico Fellini, who once gave her some advice. Bevy said you have to live spherically, in many directions. Never lose your childish enthusiasm, and things will come your way. It's a pivotal moment for Francis in the film, but it's also a pretty apt thematic summation of one of cinema's most exuberant and influential auteurs. The quote has since taken on a life of its own online, gracing many an Instagram feed and blog. And here's the thing. I don't think Fellini ever said it. If he did, I can't find it on record or in print anywhere. Under the Tuscan Sun screenwriter passed away in 2018, so I can't tweet her. And of course, no one is going to bother checking their source for a meme. The fact that Fellini is credited with a viral quote that he may not have even uttered is actually pretty fitting because he was nothing if not a grand self-mythologizer. Born in a small coastal city of Rimini in 1920 to a stable middle-class family, he later tweaked the story of his early life to make it more of a rags-to-riches narrative, which he felt was more interesting than the truth. He made up stories and even encouraged false stories about touring with vaudeville stars, having affairs with dancers, and running away to join the circus classic. Although he didn't actually run away with them, a traveling circus troupe did visit his hometown when he was seven years old, and he was so taken with them that, according to his sister, he spent a day helping one of them wash a zebra. Out of this childlike enthusiasm for the surreal grew an obsession, which turned into a motif so synonymous with his films that his name has even become an adjective. Fellini-esque, a term broadly used to describe situations that are fantastical or surreal. In a way, Fellini did grow up and join the circus. You don't have to be Freud to work out the parallels between a traveling circus and the bizarre and transient nature of the film industry. Never lose your childish enthusiasm, and things will come your way. Whether he said it or not, the quote touches on one of the most universal themes in Fellini's films, the conflict between childlike wonder and weary cynicism. In Knights of Cabiria, La Strada, and Giulietta of the Spirits, Fellini's wife Giulietta Messina plays characters whose innocence and playfulness clashes with the cruelty and cynicism of those around her. In La Strada, her optimism and wonder are crushed by Zampano's cruelty, which ultimately leads to his own comeuppance in the form of a lonely death by the seaside. In Knights of Cabiria, her plucky optimism prevails, and the final shot of her walking off heartbreak has to be one of the most heart-wrenching scenes ever committed to celluloid. In Julieta of the Spirits, an older Messina plays a middle-aged woman who finds out that her husband is having an affair. Chi è Gabriella? Feeling lost at the prospect of a life without him, she gathers strength by recalling the mystical powers she possessed as a child, as well as the help of her neighbor Susie, whose house is essentially an adult playground. In all three films, childlike wonder is a prized quality, but whether it leads to love, liberation, or doom, is left ambiguous. The contrast between weary cynicism and childlike enthusiasm is at its most striking in Fellini's two most iconic films, La Dolce Vita and Eight and a Half. In the former, Marcello Mastroianni plays a journalist living the high life in post-war Rome, searching for purpose in all the wrong places. The film chronicles his descent into a hedonistic hell. Along the way meeting Silvia and Paola, two women whose childlike innocence intrigues Marcello. They give him a taste of what living a more honest life could be like, a calling which he ultimately ignores. In Eight and a Half, Mastroianni plays Fellini's alter ego, Guido, a filmmaker in the midst of writer's block trying to make an honest film. Creatively stuck, 
Guido mines the memories and dreams of his childhood for ideas. The film was inspired by Fellini's own experience of writer's block and takes its name from the number of films that he had completed at that point. For Fellini, when his celebrity life left him bereft of inspiration, looking inward and backwards on his life yielded inspirational results. Never lose your childish enthusiasm and things will come your way. It's easy to see why the quote from Tuscan Sun has been attributed to Fellini. In many of his films, childish enthusiasm is something to be treasured. It's where he turned to for inspiration when he couldn't find it in his own life. It's also comforting to think that it's something that doesn't have to stay lost. Like Guido, Giulietta, and even Francis in Under the Tuscan Sun, childlike enthusiasm is something that can be recaptured. Like few directors before or since, Fellini's films continue to resonate with, delight, and surprise viewers, and his influence transcends language and genre. His legend has grown so large that it's begun to self-perpetuate, to the point where a rom-com with a made-up line attributed to him can spawn an inspirational quote long after his death. Beyond the slickness of style and Fellini-esque surrealism, I think my favorite part of his legacy is the universality of wanting to recapture your childlike enthusiasm if you've lost your way in life.